being joined in by Ms. Mrinarani Deshmukh, who's an advocate at the Bombay High Court. She's joining us live from Mumbai at this point of time. Now, Ms. Deshmukh, this, this is an important step that's now being taken. This is a style book that's being introduced. But tell us, you know, one would expect that within a courtroom, we would have expected that the judges, when they would be writing their judgments, would be fairly well aware of the terms that they would be using and also the stereotypes that they may have perhaps, you know, uh, used without even perhaps meaning that they were being used in that sense. Tell us why this is such an important step in bringing about gender parity within court rulings. Uh, good evening, and I think this is one of the one of the landmark uh, steps that has been taken by the judiciary uh, and under the able stewardship of uh, uh, Justice Devi Chatterjee, uh, who has always believed that he has been a champion for for uh, you know gender equality, giving all the respect and dignity to the women, whether in and the four walls of the home, at the workplace, or even in the way they are addressed. So I think that is one step that he has also translated his uh, intent into action. Now, the reason why the, the particular situation has arisen and why the, there was a need felt that there should be a handbook for the judges while addressing women with these different connotations that you just read, uh, read out a few of them is basically because some of the, uh, some of the, judges in some of their judgments and without naming anybody or any particular region tended to be a little patriarchal and a little very uh, sort of you know uh, not very gender neutral and and that is why there was a need that was felt that no judge uses a terminology which he may believe it to be in a certain way for example uh, a judge may have been raised or he may be uh, because all these are all individuals from coming from all over the country. So he may be raised in such a manner that, that a woman who has a relationship outside marriage, uh, while she's a married woman, is committing adultery. What is wrong in calling her an adulteress? So that would be a natural thing for some of the judges to think about it. Um, I, I, at the same time, as somebody who is uh, who is a slut or a war, as we call, uh, as, as it used to be called, is someone uh, that that's what she does and that is what her job is and that's what we are calling her. So today there needs to be a decorum, a dignity, and a way a woman is addressed. There are situations we do not know why such a, why a particular person or a woman is taking that kind of a stand. Number one, number two, and more importantly, it is not even to demean the kind of work that she is doing. For example, you may have seen in some of the cases that a, 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 person, a lady who was not working was earlier known as a house housewife, and and you know it was it was not in a very respectable manner. Today we do not use the word housewife; we use the word homemaker. What is that difference? <clears throat> does it mean that she does something different once she becomes a homemaker? No, it adds a lot of dignity and grace to the kind of work that she is doing. And she's contributing to the family without being paid for it, without being, without expecting to do it, but doing her job to the best of her ability with a lot of grace, kindness, and warmth for the family. Similarly, this kind of a statement which gets it will also set into motion the the thinking of all concerned, not only the judges. I mean, today the judges have to use it, but suppose tomorrow, as a lawyer, if I use one of these uh, some of these uh, you know words. Which, which tend to be a little misogynist in their way, or some of them which are obviously not gender parity, then I think I will also be, as a lawyer, attuned to address women with the same kind of dignity that the, um, that the book, which is the handout, which has been given by the Chief Justice of India. I think it's indeed, indeed, a, a, a great step and a giant step in bringing dignity to the women, especially in the past when we had a very... The mindset, which was extremely patriarchal Absolutely. and very male dumb. I think that's a big step and a big dent to that kind of a mindset. I, I think you've summed it up really well. Thank you very much indeed, Ms. Deshmukh, for joining us and getting us all those insights there. Thank you. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.